Hello all, Brian here. Um, I'm gonna do a painting tonight. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> what I got tonight is two 8x10 canvases. Got some creative inspirations. I just ordered some and got it in the mail and decided to use them. So what I got here, a permanent red, purple lake, phthalo blue, titanium white, lamp black, crimson, uh, cadmium orange hue, light green, and cadmium yellow hue. Yeah, I got a set of ten. I just thought I was going to use nine tonight. Anyway, I'm going to do something different. First off, what I'm going to do is move these paints off here. And I'm going to do a black background. So, let's see. Oh, I'm going to put on some gloves. Always should be your first step. Well, before you start pouring paint, I guess. And in each one of the colors, I have two drops of, oh, no, sorry, the spot-on treadmill silicone, lubricant. I believe it's silicone and not the metal cone. I just didn't read it. It's just what everybody's been using, so that's what I've been doing. Okay, I'm going to, well, you guys don't want to watch me spread paint, so I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Um, got them all blacked up. So, I was watching videos again, and I seen a lady do a couple pours using a dustpan shovel thing. Looked around, I don't have a dustpan shovel thing. So what I did was I grabbed a piece of garbage and cut it up and I made me a, a shovel. So I made me a big shovel, probably too big for this particular piece, but we're going to see what happens. And what she did, she took three, three cups, did three dirty pours in the shovel and then put it on the canvas. Now she didn't use split canvas or anything. That was my inspiration. Hopefully it it looks cool. So what I'm going to do with these these are three ounce cups, and I got a little shot glass cup. I don't know. I think that's two or two and a half ounces. I'm not going to fill these cups for this painting, but I'm going to do two dirty cups of the yellow. What is it? Cadmium yellow hue, crimson, light green, and cadmium orange hue. Now green and orange don't always play good together, so I'm going to try and keep them out of the separated in the dirty cup. Um, I'm also going to put white in them. The little cup, I'm I'm just going to do one cup a bit. Uh, and it's going to be the blue, red, and purple. My medium that I'm using tonight is Floetrol. Paint and just a little bit of water in each to thin it out, to get it to the right consistency. So, I went away from my massive water additive to my medium. Um, see what happens. Sorry, I should have did all this before I started the video again. Anyway, we're going to pour these first two first. Of course, a little bit of white. Bottom layer 
and I have a little bit more white here to play with. Let's see. Go with green, red, orange, then yellow. Anyway, you get the concept. Mike's here. I did take a, I ordered some blaster silicone spray. I sprayed each one of these these little cups before I started doing the pour. I'm afraid I'm going to have way too much paint. But when don't I have way too much paint? So there's no silicone in the black or white. So that's a healthy two, two and a half ounces in each one of those cups. And the little cup in the back. Some white. Purple. This one is permanent red. and the phthalo blue. A white. We got three dirty caps poured. And I mixed up some other white. It's the same brand and everything. It's a little bit thicker. And we're gonna see if I can do this. Break the C8. So we're gonna put some white down in the cut in the dust pan. Hopefully I got enough. And then we're going to throw this one in the back. And then one of these on this side. One on this side. I don't want to start pouring yet. Yes, I have way too much paint here. This 
want to hit this with a little bit of heat. There's a lot of cells in there already. Okay. Let's see if anything happens in there. Yes, this is way too much paint. But we'll see what happens. I would suggest going to the store and buying a shovel of some type rather than doing this because this is not not exactly that's pretty it's not not the way that she showed showed us how to do it yeah way less paint in the shovel next time so you can just get it to slide out of there get that cool design in the shovel and then you can pour it onto your canvas sometimes hopefully I mean that's the way she was doing it Next time will be better. Um, let's hit it with the torch again. I don't know, this isn't going to be easy, but I'm going to try it. too much paint on here or I gotta get rid of some. This is not the way this was supposed to work at all. Watch that center. Come on. Sorry you can't see what's happening right now, but That corner was giving me some serious problems. It did not want to. Did not want to go off this corner over here.
Okay, so they don't look terrible. They don't look anything like I wanted them to look like. Such is how it works out. Colors are nice. I like the colors. This is the the dust pan now. <coughs> and these paintings were were supposed to look more like this than they do, but I like these. There's a lot of paint on there though. I used probably three times more paint than I needed to use. I don't know. What do you guys think? Is that a fail? The sides all look okay. They don't match up real well as far as being a set, but they do match up. Some. That center did look really good for a minute. Yeah, I didn't know how to save it as far as pulling it apart. Yeah, I've made a freaking mess here with using too much paint. Okay, so that's Creative Inspirations with Flow Crawl, Little Water, two drops of silicone in each color. Put on there with a the shovel. Okay, it was a homemade homemade shovel with some garbage that I took and put tape on and made a shovel. Not because I'm too cheap, cheap to buy one, I just didn't have one at the time and I wanted to do the paintings. So like, share, subscribe, hit that bell if you want to see more paintings. Um, thanks for watching all. Burn out.